Whew. Frying. So hard. Fry yay. I hate that. It's stupid. That's the only word I have for it is dumb. You tell I'm like hungover today. <laughs> A little hungover. Deep frying stuff. Getting angry about everything. What else do I hate? Spiralizers. Zoodles. People in general. <laughs> Just kidding. I love all people. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Faraday, the culinary director at Munchies, and today we're gonna make potato skin nachos. Potato skin nachos are super easy. It's basically like a fully loaded baked potato, but in nacho form. So you don't need much for this. Uh, about five ingredients. We're gonna use some rusted potatoes, uh, about five or so, about 12 ounces of streaky bacon, some sour cream, scallions, and a mixture of cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack cheese that's been shredded, or any kind of cheese you want, really. Nice, a good melting cheese. So basically, uh, you are going to um, what's it called? We put these in the oven. Um, bake, bake, <laughs> bake potatoes. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna do that today. So to get started, you're gonna heat your oven to about um, 400 degrees, and you're just gonna bake these potatoes. So you know, put them on a tray. You can bake potatoes whatever method works for you. I don't care. I'm literally just gonna put these on a tray and then bake it at about 400 degrees, about an hour. Our potatoes have baked in the oven for about an hour. They're nice and tender. I let them cool down completely. We're just going to cut them and basically scoop out the insides. All of the filling and stuff, this is perfect for mashed potatoes or gnocchi. Um, we were making a whole lot of gnocchi one day and we had all these extra potato skins that we didn't want to waste. So we decided like, what can we do with these potato skins? Let's make nachos. You don't have to like remove all of the filling. It really doesn't matter. It's just gonna fry up and get crispy. So you can leave like a little bit in there. This piece will be like a lot crispier than these like thicker pieces. So I mean, this is perfectly edible though, just like that. People go ape shit. I feel like for loaded baked potatoes, and so you're giving them that. And people love nachos. You're giving them the best of both worlds: nachos and loaded baked potatoes all together. Like who knew? You know, it's awesome. Cool, so I've scooped out all this. I'm gonna put this aside, we don't need it right now. So now, I'm um, just gonna fry these up. So I'm just gonna line this with some paper towels, some vegetable or canola oil. Get it about 350 degrees, and we'll just add these guys in there. And let them fry away. Now you don't wanna fill too many in here. The oil will, like, the temperature will drop. So you just wanna keep, like, you know, nice, good amount in there. So we're looking for a nice golden color. Um, it maybe takes like a couple minutes to get these. We want the inside to be golden um, and the skin side as well. This guy, the skin, is pretty much like ready to go right now. That's nice and golden. The other ones where it has like a thicker um, meat in there, I guess, if you want to call it, um, it might take a little bit longer. You kind of know when they're really done when they really stop bubbling up so much. You can go. Look at that. Oof. That looks pretty good. I'd be happy with that. And just be careful, like make sure you can see like some of the like the oil like kind of cup it like cups in there. So just drain some of the oil out as you as you take them out. You know, the whole sk the skin and the flesh is really good for you with a potato. You know, you, they they work in harmony together and then you deep fry it and it's even better for you. Who knew? Here at here at Munchies, we do things. We do things. <laughs> we do things. All right, these are nice, crispy, golden. Don't forget to season them when they come out because the salt kind of sticks them better. Ta-da! All right, those are ready to go. Next up, we're gonna fry our bacon and get our toppings ready for this. All right. So with the bacon, we can fry these, you know, like whole like this and then crumble them up after. Um, or we can slice it and then just like cook it all together. I'm just gonna kind of slice it and cook it all together. So just gonna... Cut it whatever sizes you want. It doesn't matter. You can have big pieces and then it'll crumble even more later too. I'm gonna add this into a nice hot pan. Throw it in there. Just like that. I might have put too much in the pan. I don't care. There's no rules with bacon. Fuck your rules. I'm gonna play by the rules here. I'm gonna go like that. It's fine. We've all learned, if anything, 
from Mayhem Loren that there are no rules in cooking. Am I right? Like, it's not about the process or the journey with cooking sometimes. Sometimes it's about the final product, the destination. It is. Break it up in there. So you wanna like make sure the pieces kind of separate a little bit so they get nice and crispy. And we're gonna get there with these. <laughs> we will get there. Hungover or not, we will make our potato skin nachos and they're gonna be delicious. All right, nice and crispy. Pour that right into here. So it's gonna strain out the bacon and the fat right through there. Look at that, perfectly crisp bacon, that looks good. Now we're ready to assemble our nachos. We've got um, a nice, you know, sheet tray. I'm gonna put it, I'm, you could use a large one if you wanted to. I'm gonna put it on a small one because I wanna get like just everything kind of covered in cheese and stuff. So we'll do a nice little single layer of these guys to start. All right. Just like that. Next up, we're gonna put some of this cheese on top. This is about, I don't know, maybe like two to three cups of cheese. Um, depends on how cheesy you like it but I want to make sure everything is covered. So I'm gonna like really get in there and just, these are nachos and nachos has, have a lot of cheese. So we're gonna fucking load these up. No one is more disappointed than the person who pulls up a nacho and it has like nothing on it, you know? So you want to try to make sure you like evenly spread out all of this stuff, just like this. So we're gonna pop this into a 400 degree oven and cook it just until the cheese starts melting and bubbling and stuff. Maybe like 10 minutes or so. All right, look at those. So these are looking really good. The cheese is nice and melted. They've gotten a little bit crispier. Um, so next up, I'm just going to slice up some scallions. And you can use chives instead of scallions if you wanted to. That'd be fine. Scallions all over. It, not only does it give it nice, beautiful color, but it has that nice onion flavor. So it's pretty good. So the sour cream, you just kind of dollop all over. I also like to serve it with extra sour cream on the side because this is one of those instances where not everyone's gonna have sour cream on their nacho. So you're gonna wanna have extra so that you can add a little bit more to it if you want. So here we have it, potato skin nachos. They're perfect for sharing with their friends. They're perfect for eating, you know, for the Super Bowl. Usually a baked potato is not the kind of thing. It's a very individual portion. This is the opposite of that, it's for sharing. So like, this is like baked potatoes with friends. I'm gonna choose the perfect one. I think this one looks good. It's nice and cheesy, a lot of bacon, a lot of sour cream. Perfect, I love it.